All right, this is the classic monkey hunter problem. We have a, a gun or a cannon here that's going to try to shoot, um, you know, right at the, right at the monkey. And uh, uh, the, we know that monkeys will uh, let go of the branch the moment you pull the trigger. So we have to, we're trying to figure out, should we aim above the monkey, directly at the monkey, or below the monkey? And the way we're going to do this is we're going to, um, we're going to say that, um, we are four meters away from the monkey, and the monkey is three meters up. And uh, so then that, that'll help us figure out this angle right here. We can take a tangent, or three divided by four, um, 0.75, and then take inverse tangent. And this angle here will be 30, uh, 36.9, 36.9 degrees. So um, we know that the velocity of this gun is going to be uh, 7, 7 meters per second. And so what we want to find out uh, first is what is the horizontal velocity and what is the vertical velocity. So the vertical velocity would be um, 7 times uh, 36.9 uh, sine. And so this is going to be uh, 4.2 meters per second. And then we have uh, 7 times 36.9 cosine, um, and this would be 5.6 would be our horizontal velocity. Okay, so the way we're going to do this is like in four steps. First of all, we're going to determine how much time will it take the bullet to get over um, to get over to this vertical line. Because the, the monkey, if it falls, is going to fall straight down along this line. So for the, the bullet to hit the monkey, it would have to, we have to see how much time it would take at this angle for the bullet to get over to this, to this vertical line. So um, that's uh, pretty easy to do because we, um, we have velocity equals distance over time. And uh, the distance that we're going to take to get all the way over that line is 4 meters. That's our horizontal range. And uh, that's our horizontal range. And over time is going to equal the, the horizontal velocity, it would be Vx. So the, um, the time is going to actually equal the range, which is 4 meters, uh, divided by the um, horizontal velocity, which is 5.6. So if I do 4 divided by 5.6, I get a time. I'll put it down here, a time of 0.714 for this bullet. This bullet's going to come out towards the monkey, but, you know, it's going to it's going to kind of, you know, go like this and kind of maybe fall down. So it's going to take 0.714 seconds for the bullet to get over here to this vertical line. So then what we want to do is we want to, for number two, we want to determine um, how high in the air will the monkey be? So, or I mean, not the monkey, the bullet. Where, where on this uh, line over here, how high up from the ground will that bullet be after 0.714 seconds? Um, so we're, to do that, we're going to use the 4.2 um, initial velocity. And uh, um, so we'd have uh, D um, would equal um, VI times T plus 1 half a T squared. And so the initial velocity is 4.2. 4.2 times the time, which is 0.714, uh, plus 0.5 times 9.81 negative is our acceleration, times 0.714 squared equals, and we get a height of half a meter. So this is three meters. Um, so the bullet is going to be um, um, half a meter uh, from, from the ground. Determine the height of the bullet at that particular time. So, and so let's see, let's divide this up. There's one meter, there's two meters, there's three meters. Okay, so here's one meter. So right here is where the bullet's going to actually be. So it's going to kind of come up here, you know, and then, and, you know, come back down like this. Okay, so now what we need to do is we just to figure out in that amount, same amount of time, how far does the monkey fall? So if, if the monkey can fall, you know, all the way to this exact same point, then we know that the bullet and the monkey would be at the same point and they'd be hit. So how long does it take for the monkey to fall? 0 0.714 seconds. So again, I'd use D equals, uh, my initial velocity for the monkey is zero, so that would be one-half um, A, negative 9.81, times 
point, uh, point 0.714 squared. So what do I get? 0.714 squared um, times 9.81 negative uh, times 0.5 equals, and I get a D of negative 2.5 meters. The negative just means the monkey's falling down. So the monkey is going to fall down two and a half meters. So one meter, and then two meters, and then half a meter. So the monkey is going to be in the exact same place. After 0.714 seconds, the monkey will have fallen to this location. And after 0.714 seconds, the bullet made it to the same location. So what that means is if the monkey's going to drop, as soon as we shoot the gun, we actually need to aim directly at the monkey. So the monkey will fall, the bullet will go up, but it'll also be falling the whole time, and the, the monkey and the bullet will end up at the exact same location. The answer to the monkey hunter problem is always aim directly at the monkey.